Olympia 2019! France it is! I have been able to connect, which is the most important part, which is something that IIHM gifts us, really. Um, so I think this opportunity, this uh, experience is just phenomenal. This idea, it's amazing. The people behind it, they are brilliant. And then I wish the whole world can adopt this. Very good platform for the students to come in and know each other and know different people from other countries and how do they cook in each country. To all the students and all the uh, people that have done the organization of the event, it's been fantastic. And I think you should all be very proud of what, what you've done. It brings together a wealth of young chef talent from around the world and celebrates which unites us all, food, a celebration of culinary arts, of culture, of creativity and educational partnerships developed. Global Connect is the ultimate ambition of the Young Chef Olympiad and IIHM are proud to bring together 50 of the world's top countries and colleges to mark this occasion. And make no mistake, you are the 50 of the world's best. Our vision is to build a sustainable model of the Young Chef Olympiad for the next 50 years or so. And make this Olympiad by hosted by even other countries as well. This way we hope to continue to make the world and India proud. Rather than uh, focusing on mass, it is now focusing on class. So basically including events like the uh, United World. I think um, Young Chef Olympiad is overall a very great platform for students like us to um, you know, showcase our talents and abilities. And when the ce celebrity chefs and um, different like uh, people from different uh, industries, they join us uh, at this uh, huge event, it's like you know, the golden feather um, to the crowd. When I was in the first year, uh, it was a great experience working for the first time with uh, industry uh, stars, people who have acquired Michelin stars for themselves, people who have uh, come out with flying colors in their industry. So it's a great experience once again, seeing the whole thing evolve, you know, being a part of it is uh, an amazing experience. You know, that's one of the sort of best things of the competition. You're getting the young people from all over the world working with the students here at IIHM. So it's, a, it's one of the, the sort of real highlights for me in this competition. So much congratulations to Dr. Bose and the team here at IIHM because you've done such a fantastic job and the world should be looking in with a lot of pride. And of course the competition has grown and has become much more complex and diverse. Yeah, we thank YCO and all the, the sponsors who, who connected all over 50 countries together and the, the college who received us, IIHM, is well organized and the students are very helpful and lovely. So my job was to assist the chef and the participant in keeping all their pictures ready. So wherever they are going, whatever they are doing, maybe they are getting some recognition or some prize. So I have to get those photos and those videos with me. And whenever chef would ask to produce those photos and videos, I have to help chef as well as my college with those photos at the right time. Well, if I could train every other hotelier coming up 
यू नो आई वुड मेक श्योर दैट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी इज़ अवेलेबल टू एवरी वन ऑफ दैम बिकॉज दिस इज समथिंग दैट मेक्स अस एज बर्डिंग होटल यूर वेरी इंडस्ट्री रेडी टूडे इफ वी नो टूडे इफ वी आर एबल टू यू नो कनेक्ट विद इम्पॉर्टेंट पीपल टूमोरो इट्स ईजियर फॉर अस वी गेट इन टू द ट्रेंड ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स but in order to see the growth i just faced that the pleatings were innovative the contestant were giving all they they have got and then there was something unique done by all the contestant it eventually evolved me as a good personality i saw what the growth is and i saw how the beginning uh, it grew into something big when you walk up uh, to a star who is so popular and uh, well known across the country uh, or across the globe it in itself boosts your confidence gives you the confidence and the self belief that you can perform well that you can uh, converse and communicate with such people and get to know from them so i think it's always a pretty good moment for us to be groomed by them and then learn a lot and keep doing it again but as the years moved on i see that this year the number of participants have increased and also the media recognition whenever you open the newspapers and the tv news channels you find iihm and u5 yco everywhere so this has been a huge leap as far as yco is concerned and i and i think that uh, using all of the social media platforms that we can and tv and being able to broadcast that and for for the the, the different the 50 different countries that are here today to take that message back to their countries uh to to use that as a platform to to really really grow interest uh, and passion for for culinary arts to understand other cultures and to give a little bit of your of their culture to you the i guess it is a fantastic starting point to do this hospitality is global yeah even if you stay in india you're going to have global clients coming to your hotels and restaurants so it's really interesting to understand what's happening outside your country as well I think the ICO is good for the students for uh, learning and uh, uh, participate and uh, know a different country and know different flavor, know different students and uh, make a contact for the having for the future. So we, we had to organize a competition, get a sponsorship for it, and choose the best student uh, out. So out of 20, we had management student, second year student, and Tracy as a first year student, she won. contestants are very friendly once they go back to their home country they don't forget us they uh, they are still connected with us we still talk to the participants of previous years and i feel that it will eventually help us by making new connections i was working on the second day the ucw united states of the world so i saw chef john wood walking in and then um, he is a michelin star chef he has worked for burj al arab and then a michelin star for any kitchen student is something really big so i just went to him i said sir this is what i want to be and how did you went for it so he he actually stated me everything how he got into the michelin star thing how things went cool so that is what the beauty of yco is the big shots are always here around and then you get to learn and then you get groomed by them and i always mention you should ask to learn and to share so i'm very welcome these students um they're very friendly very learning oriented uh, very open minded and very supportive and helpful 
uh, delighted to be here. Great to be back fourth year here. And uh, love to thank all the students from IAHM. What a fantastic uh, performance they have. Great competition, and it's come so far. Can't wait to see where it goes next year. Uh, Chef Scott Page, no? I met him previously also when I was uh, in my industrial exposure training. And meeting him again here was uh, amazing. And uh, when I told him about uh, the past experiences, he actually he actually remembered me and he was like, yes. And he offered me that why should not I go abroad and uh, just stay stay in the place where he is working and then work there and that was good. And this year I worked under YCO in United Young Chefs of the World where 50 countries participated and I was very lucky to be a part and worked with Bhutan and Turkey both team and the amazing thing which I learned from Bhutan team was their uh, national dish known as Emitashi and from Turkey team I learned the Tolma which uh, that dish was very yummy because it was the rice were rolled in pine leaves which was served with a cold sauce and olive oil. Pleasure to tell you that I was working with the country France, the winning team this year. It was really a good experience for me. Uh, she was really, really, really talented and that is what has given her where she is now. And uh, on that day, I've got to learn 50 new dishes from 50 different countries and that was a great experience for me. When I got to know that I will be the butler of uh, Mr. Sanjeev Kapoor, I was excited like anything because uh, like I never thought that I'll be given that opportunity to be his butler and he is such a legendary chef everybody has uh, the wish to hang around with him so he is so nice I have things to learn from him a lot of things to learn from him uh, Vice you keeps on growing uh, uh, each year you outdo uh, the whole team uh, I'd like to wish uh, all the participants all mentors uh, um, and would like to welcome people from uh, all across the world thank you for making uh, this is the biggest event of this uh, kind in the world. IHM really changed my life, uh, to be very honest. College uh, gave me an international exposure. The college sent me abroad um, for various uh, programs. And now being a part of YCO and various other events, I think I've evolved as a person. I've evolved as a uh, budding professional. And I think I can carry all these skills that I've really um, you know, drawn from the institute to the industry. Since IHM gives us so many opportunities, not only YCU, it has numerous numbers of fests in which we work and get industry ready. So right now I have already overcome that fear that if I approach somebody and how will I speak, how should I speak, what should I do, what should I not do, everything I've approached, I have overcome that. First year Sara was very, uh, didn't have any confidence but when I came to third year I became very confident, I could uh, really relate to myself that Yes, it can really help me in the future. But getting such an exposure is uh, is like is like getting an appetizer, or like getting an ambush of, of the whole menu. So before going to the real industry, I'm getting the exposure of the small industry. Budding professional, and I think I can carry all these skills that I've really um, you know drawn from the institute to the industry. Since IHM gives us so many opportunities, not only YCU, it has numerous numbers of fests in which we work and get industry ready. So right now I have already overcome that fear that if I approach somebody and how will I speak, how should I speak, what should I do, what should I not do, everything I have approached, I have overcome that. First year Sara was very, uh, didn't have any confidence but when I came to third year I became very confident, I could uh, really relate to myself that Yes, it can really help me in the future. But getting such an exposure is uh, is like is like getting an appetizer, like getting an ambush of, of the whole menu. So before going to the real industry, I'm getting the exposure of the small industry.